Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to resign retro cover art in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want to completely design the .psg file means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the PSG inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. If you want, you can create your own canvas. First, let's drop in our background image. For that, go to the project file, open background image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place it inside background group. Now enable free transform tool Ctrl T and resize it and place it at the center here. Fine. Next we are going to add brightness adjustment layer for that create brightness contrast adjustment layer. I'll bring down the brightness level down to minus 60 and contrast level to minus 5. Fine. Next we are going to drop in our Sorry, next we are going to create a circle shape for that. Select the design group, create a layer, go to color picker, select white color. Now go to shapes tool and select ellipse tool. Now by holding shift key, create a perfect circle shape like so. I'll place it at the center here. Fine, I'll tell you this one. Once you're done, next we're going to add gradient effect. For that, right click the layer, go to blending option, select gradient overlay. Click the gradient bar, select the first gradient. On the left side, I'm going with yellow orange color. On the right side, I'm going with pink color. I'll keep the style as normal, opacity, opacity as 100. I'll enable reverse option. I'll increase the scale to 150. I'll keep the angle as 90. Next, let's add outer glow effect. Here, I'll keep the blending option as screen, opacity as 60, noise as 0. In the color, I'm going with pink color, this one. Now click OK. I'll increase the spread to 10. I'll keep the size as 150. I'll keep the range as 50. I'm not going to disturb other settings. Now click OK. There you go. We got retro style effect. Next, we're going to drop in our model image. For that, go to the project file. Open model image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Of course, if you want, you can use your image. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. Fine. Next we are going to add curves adjustment layer. Create curves adjustment layer. Right click and clip mask the layer. Now select blue option. Now increase, sorry, pull the top and bottom go little bit up so that we will get blue tone effect like this one. Fine. Next, we're going to create a layer. Right click and clip mask the layer. Now go to color picker. Sample and select this violet color. Click OK. Now pick the brush tool. I'm going with soft round brush, this one. Now increase the size. Now give few clicks on left side of the model image. Like so. Now I'll change the blending mode to overlay. Now I'll reduce the opacity down to 75%. Fine. Next we're going to repeat more or less same step. Create a layer. Right click and clip master layer. 
now go to color picker sample and select this pink color again i'm going with the same soft round brush now give few clicks on right side now i'll change the blending mode to color now i'll reduce the opacity down to 70% Fine. Next, we are going to add our text content. For that, go to the text group, create a layer. Now, go to color picker, sample, and select this yellow color. Now, pick the text tool. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. You can download it. With size as 320, I'm going to type my text content. I'll place it at the center here. Next, I'll create a duplicate copy of this text layer. Now, I'll disable the color palette. Create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Now, select the first text layer. I repeat, select the first text layer. Now, reduce the fill to 0%. Now, right click, blending option, enable stroke. There, I'm going to keep size as 5%. Position as inside, normal, opacity as 100. In the color, I'm going with same yellow color. Click OK. Now enable free transform tool, Ctrl T and move the text layer to left side, 4 to 5 pixels using your keyboard arrow key. So that we will get such kind of retro style 3D effect. There you go. Once you are done, Next, we're going to add other text content, create a layer, go to color picker. I'm going with same yellow color. This time I'm using a different font. I'll give a link in the description. I'll keep size as 90 and type in your text content. Fine. Now I'll create a duplicate copy, Ctrl J. I'll place it at the bottom. I'll change the size to 60 pixels. I'll add my studio name. Now our design is almost ready. Next we're going to add noise effect. For that go to the project file. Open the noise stock image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the stock image inside effects folder. Now enable free transform tool and resize it. Now I'm going to change the layer blending mode to screen so that those black parts will turn invisible. This one looks a little bit harsh. I'll reduce the opacity down to 50%. There you go. We got realistic noise effect. Next, we're going to create a layer. Go to color picker. Select some kind of dark purple violet color. Something like this one. Now click OK. Now fill the color using keyboard shortcut Alt Backspace. Now I'll change the blending mode to Exclusion. Now I'll reduce the opacity down to 15%. Our template is almost ready. As a final step, let's add another noise effect. Before that, let's merge all our layer into a single layer. For that, hit Ctrl Alt Shift E. There you go. Now go to Filter. Select Noise. Click Add Noise. There, make sure to select Uniform and Monochromatic options. Now keep the amount as between 7 to 10. I'm going with 7 here. Now click OK. There you go. Now our retro style cover art design is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to my channel. And please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.